Hey everybody, it's great to see you and welcome to my home. It's a beautiful day. Hey, I'm back. There we go. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. I'm trying to make the most of summer and this whole week where we've been doing sound healing. Now, you know, all winter, winters can get kind of nasty here in the Chicagoland area. All winter, all I wanted to do was wait for summer. And uh, every summer, you know, you wait with anticipation, at least I do, of like, oh, when is spring going to be here? When is warm weather going to be here? And, and so that, you know, I can finally relax. And then it's kind of funny. Summer comes and all of that magical, mystical, oh, life is going to be so much better. Hey, Angela, good to see you. And all of that life is going to be so much better. You know, everybody's going to be so much more relaxed. All of that went right down the tubes. And it does every summer. I end up having really high hopes for how beautiful things are going to be. And uh, instead, you know, you end up with all the same issues that you were dealing with in the winter. Maybe it's a little bit easier, but it's still heavy and it's still big. So lots of years ago, and uh, I coach my clients with this as well. Lots of years ago, I um, started a practice. And the practice was creating song lists or finding artists that uh, could take how I felt, take my state of mind, and move it into a different direction. Hey, my sister's here, how awesome. Hi, Janae, good to see you. So I very purposely created uh, call uh, music lists, hey Deb, and artists, and Sean's here too, awesome. We have a, a busy morning. I created song lists that would um, keep, take me in the direction I wanted to go. Do you know how hard it is to make yourself feel better all by yourself? You know what I mean, you're sitting in bed, you know, maybe it's before you get up in the morning or maybe it's when you're trying to go to sleep at night and that's when you feel everything. That's when you're like, I really wish I could be relaxed. I really wish that I could be comfortable so I could start my day off right. So I can start my day off without all of this, you know, conflict or stress or anxiety. Hey Carrie, good to see you. Or even any issues that I had from the day before. So I have a couple iPods and each iPod has a different purpose. You know, one of my iPod's purpose is to uh, remind me how connected I am, to uh, put songs on there. Do you remember maybe when you were dating somebody when you were in high school or in your 20s, somebody you really liked and they made you a mixed tape? That's the same sort of thing. You get to make a mixed tape for yourself. So I have one iPod that's kind of like a mixed tape of music that reminds me of what matters to me of where I'm going, of who I am. But I've got one secret, secret magic bullet that I use any single time. I'm somebody who's got a lot of triggers. So as I go throughout my day, as um, you know, and I talk to people, they'll look at me wrong or, or they're a blink wrong or the sun will be in the wrong place in the sky. Hey Kim, good to see you. And I will be immediately angry, upset. Ronnie's here too, cool. I'll be frustrated, I'll be aggravated, I'll be humiliated, I'll feel ashamed, I'll feel whatever it is that I'm feeling, and I'll trigger fast. I can go zero to 60, you know, cold to hot, because I've had a lot of challenges in my life that, that have needed to, the emotions have needed to be released, you know, they're hanging out there just ready for, for that thing that reminds me of that stuff that always makes me so mad. But as you get older, you realize, you can't let the things outside of you control how you feel. You can't let um, the, the, what people are saying, you can't let uh, your past determine for you how you want to live your life, how you want to feel. That's like a waste of life to let everybody else have that sort of control over you. So a great way to pull back control is with music. So I've got one song that whenever I'm triggered, whenever I'm in the deepest hole that I can uh, possibly be in, but I have to go somewhere and I have to do something and I have to be nice and I have to, you know, get along and I have to be smart and supportive and, you know, and I have to be that person. Um, 
I listen to the Bellamy Brothers Let Your Love Flow and I will put it on a playlist and I will play it for an hour and a half if I have to because here's the really cool thing about music especially if you plug it into your head it starts to rewire your thoughts have you ever tried to do positive thinking when you don't feel good all by yourself and maybe you read something you keep trying to mantra positive thinking for you and it just doesn't work you still feel lousy you know your thoughts the the obsessive negative thoughts are still spinning in your head this is where having one song or one playlist can be a game changer for you so every time I listen to the lyrics and I listen to the song let your love flow it calms me down it relaxes me and because I'm plugging directly into my head different thoughts to think and when that happens then I do start to think different thoughts and I do start to feel better stop trying to do all this transformational work and positive thinking and growth and self-actualization by yourself it's completely ridiculous you need to start keeping tools around hey Beth tools like music are one of the most powerful ways I know of that put us in a new direction when I work with somebody new especially one of the things I'll ask is what should we listen to while we're doing the work and we've listened to everything from you know Eva Cassidy to Fleetwood Mac to you know metal thrash to whatever because the music will either help us purge you know do a catharsis of how we're feeling when I'm when I need to move that energy when I need to be angry and I've got the time then I put on something like Kid Rock you know and rawr, and, it, and it, it gets it gets it out of you in a safe way without taking it out on somebody else and then when I need to change my thinking to something that's more upbeat or positive or or rational instead of this dark angry emotion that I'm feeling that's when I put on my playlist or my one song my one song is always my last ditch effort if I have got to be in a better mood then I will plug into my head let your love flow these are the lyrics let your love flow like a mountain stream let your love flow well I actually have to sing it okay let your love flow like a mountain stream and let your love grow with the smallest of dreams and let your love show and you'll know what I mean that's the reason and that's what the whole song is about it reminds us of how important love is and how valuable it is and how we can let it flow through us to change the world and you know how hard it is to think about that when you're angry and frustrated and remembering the thing that was done to you you know a million times over and is never gonna change and how frustrated you are with life when you plug into your head different thoughts with music that remind you of what matters of what's valuable that's how you end up feeling better so stop trying to do this stuff on your own you have a million tools to help you and music is one of my favorite which is what we've been talking about all week so here's your homework assignment I want you to find one song or one artist if I have one artist that will do it for me it will be um, Paul Simon Paul Simon after about 45 minutes of me going oh I love that song oh I love that song you know you start to feel better because you're loving something you're opening up that door and when you get out of the fight or flight when you get out of that you know narrow-minded obsessive thinking that you're in that's when your rational mind comes back on you're able to problem solve you're able to figure it out so the key isn't necessarily when you're angry letting yourself be really angry let yourself be angry for you know let's say about 10 minutes 15 minutes a half hour hour at the most and then say okay this is a waste of my life if I need to be angry later I'll be angry later but right now I'm gonna change the channel I'm gonna put different thoughts in my head and I'm gonna let myself be the person that I really want to be the person that makes a powerful impact on the world so find one song one artist or one playlist that maybe you already have which is a game changer for you keep it nearby keep you listen to James Taylor Deb that's fabulous I know when I need it I'll put James Taylor on uh, Pandora and it'll it'll definitely help so pick things that have emotional ties to you oh as I was saying when I work with clients especially the first time we pick music that um, that means something to them 
Oh, yeah, Phil listens to the Beatles over and over. I can see why that would happen. The lyrics are both cathartic as well as, um, as upbeat. That's what I love about their writing. You know, the music is like Maxwell's silver hammer, killing people with a hammer, all in a really upbeat song. So find the thing that works for you. You know, and it doesn't have to be anything that anybody else agrees with. It doesn't have to be all that fluffy, buddy, reiki music, you know, unless you want it to be. Things that have emotional ties to vacations or happy times or your high school years. High school year music is so powerful. That's why we end up with like thrash metal sometimes because they'll be like, oh, yeah, this is what I listen to. And I'd listen to it with the top down and, you know, and I'd be like, okay, cool. Let's listen to that for, you know, until you're sick of it. But take control of your life again. Find things that move you in the direction you want to go and keep them around. Keep them handy. Put it on an iPod. Do a Pandora. There's no reason you can't have new thoughts in an instant in your head and use it. You don't uh, have to. <laughs> my sister. Okay, my sister's on. And uh, she's been learning the song Maxwell's Silver Hammer. And she says she still thinks that it's a strange song. And I love Maxwell Silverhammer. If you don't know it, <laughs> look it up. And it's all about how this, this guy named Maxwell goes around and, you know, hits people over the head with his silver hammer until they're dead. And it's done in this very upbeat, light, fun way. Me being a dark, weird person, I have to have both. I have to have the darkness and the light, and then I can feel better. It acknowledges the fact that I'm angry and frustrated plus also puts it reframes it into a different spot so find the thing that works for you and use it stop thinking you have to be so strong and so amazing and so fabulous all by yourself and you know that you have to change your thoughts all by yourself that's completely ridiculous get some help and music is awesome for it so you got your homework assignment I'm gonna see you Monday I'm excited to see your how, how it turned out hey Helen great to see you how it turned out Put down your favorite songs in the comments, the things that are game changers for you. I would love to hear about them and comment on them and comment on other people's comments too, okay? So, hope you have a great rest of your day and uh, I'll see you Monday. Bye. Oh, finished.